G'day guys, Socket here. Um, in our last uh, tutorial series we looked at the uh, ATF DSP PC tool software and how you used it to configure and control your Helix DSP including some of the advanced features such as the automatic time measurement and the auto EQ features. Um, now, if you enjoyed those series, um, we're going to move on and make a new series now looking at using uh, Room EQ Wizard for car audio tuning, including how to transfer some of the information and work that you've done in REW into your Helix DSP using the PC tool software. So what is Room EQ Wizard and where can you find it? Well, REW uh, is a free piece of software developed by a guy called John Mulcahy, I think his name is in the USA, um, basically for the home audio community who uh, you know, use this software to analyze and, and um, simulate uh, their home audio systems to you know, deliver better quality music. And um, there's a bunch of tools in this software that are therefore really use useful to the car audio tuner. Um, um, now, so while the you know Audio Tech Fisher PC tool software has the auto time alignment and the auto EQ features, and you know they're pretty easy to use with a few clicks, um, you can, in my opinion, get much better results using REW. You know, provided that you're prepared to sort of spend a bit of time learning the tool and you know getting your head around some of the um, you know, technical aspects of um, you know things like real time analysis and impulse responses and you know and that type of stuff so where do you find room eq wizard well if you just search the term room eq wizard uh, you should pop up a link to their website um, uh, which looks like this uh, and the download sections right here at the top <coughs> uh, they uh, provide uh, versions for Windows and Mac and you know so on and so forth you just click on the one that applies to you, download it and just follow the installation instructions. Um, here on the web page you'll also find a donation button um, and a whole bunch of helpful videos and other information um, if you want to sort of dive a little more detailed into that. Uh, they also have a support uh, forum. Uh, if you just uh, look up uh, AV Audiovisual Nirvana Roo, uh, it'll take you to the official support forum. Um, and this is a, you know, uh, once again, a great, uh, a great resource uh, on you know, install installing, you know, the software, um, hints and tips, you know, stuff like that, um, and. If you've got any technical questions or something that's not working for you, you know, this is a great place to come and um, a lot of helpful people, including John himself, who is here and you know, often jumps in and you know, helps troubleshoot or you know, whatever. So um, they're the two websites uh, where you'll find both the software and support information. So what's great about REW is with a laptop, copy of this free software and a USB microphone you can essentially get into car audio tuning for a couple of hundred bucks um, and so with just that equipment um, you're able to uh, take your measurements uh, capture your and um, display your speaker responses and do all of your EQ work uh, importing your house curves and you know EQing all your speakers and then you're able to take all of those settings and download them into your DSP um, you know via the Audio Tech Fisher PC tool software. So in the next episode we're going to do a walkthrough of the software looking at all the menus and buttons and uh, features including the preferences um, so that you're familiar with uh, how the software is laid out and how it works before we actually get into um, you know, doing the measurements and you know, an EQ work and stuff like that. So I hope this has been a useful introduction to REW and uh, the upcoming tutorial series and I look forward to catching you in the next episode.